very good morning uh, yesterday karnataka secondary education examination board released a model question paper of 2021-22 so today we are going to discuss its key answers okay nan en martane idena first multiple choice questions ana nim jothe discuss martini adaralli physics part na discuss maduvanta kelsa martini okay first question no in padre multiple choice questions enidava ivugalanna ee rithi ek slide gal roopadalli ಆಮೇಲೆ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸು ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸು ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆರಿಕಲ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಅಪೇರ್ಚ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆರಿಕಲ್ ಮಿರರ್ಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಪೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಮಿರರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಪಿ so in uh, mirrors there is no uh, optic center so option a cancelled next optic uh, sorry um, center of curvature when we take a mirror when we take a mirror for example this is a concave mirror okay it's a principal axis this is a principal focus then uh, in a mirror there is no 2f what we take here uh, whatever the uh, principal focus is there it's a r then a 2r it's a what it's a d then here we take a, it's a center of curvature c it's a center of curvature from here to here distance whatever is there that's a center of curvature center of curvature okay that's why this is also not a what a diameter of a spherical mirror so this is this is wrong then principal axis we already know uh, in any mirror or any lens x y we took, uh, take as a principal axis principal axis we keep here lenses or mirrors lenses are mirrors so uh, principal axis also not our answer center of curvature also not our answer optic center is also not our answer our answer is aperture our answer is aperture next second question an electric motor takes a 5 ampere from a 220 volt electric source the power of the motor is okay this problem is related to power this problem is related to power that's why we take here formula p is equal to vi p is equal to vi they given v here 220 volt and they also given a uh, electric flow that's a 5 ampere then a 220 into 5 it's a 1100 watt 1100 watt that's a option right answer remaining all things are wrong okay uh, these are the two questions related to physics now we are going to discuss two multiple choice questions of a chemistry part which one chemistry part see uh, as the ph value of a solution increases uh, we already studied that uh 0 to 7 0 to 7 it's acid 7 to 14 it's a base 7 to 14 it's a base when the ph of a solution increasing means it's turning towards to base it's 0 to 7 or 7 to 14 if the ph value of the solution is increasing means it's uh, 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 whatever the acid is there it's turning into base then uh, Uh, whenever the solution ph decreasing means in that solution hydrogen ion concentration increases whenever the solution turns into base then in uh, that solution hydroxide ions concentration is increasing that's why option c is the right answer here which one option c number of hydroxide ions sorry very sorry uh, option b right answer number of hydroxide ions increases when the ph value of a solution increasing it's a 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 whatever the uh, solution value is increasing then what the number of hydroxide ions increase in the solution increase in the solution if a hydrogen ions increase means the number of a hydroxide ion decreases but the ph value also decrease when ph value also decrease that's why its right answer is option b option b remaining uh, in uh, acid also in base also there is no equal of a hydrogen and hydroxide ions because it is a acid means hydrogen ions are 
hydrogen ions concentration is more if it is base hydroxide ions are concentration more that's why d answer wrong c answer also wrong then a answer if the ph value decreasing means hydrogen ions increase number of hydrogen ions increase that's why what they given here increases they given increases means hydroxide ions increases option b right answer next the amphoteric oxide among the following is okay uh, potassium oxide is also not amphoteric oxide sodium oxide is also not amphoteric oxide calcium oxide is also not amphoteric oxide zinc oxide is a amphoteric oxide because uh, whatever the uh, some metals they acts as a acid also base also they reacts with acids and base they give us salts salt and water that's why those uh, whatever the uh, metallic oxides uh, example aluminium oxide al2o3 and zinc oxide these both are amphoteric oxides because they acts uh, they reacts with acid also they reacts with base also they uh, reacts with a uh, acid they give a salt and water they reacts with a base they give a salt and water that's why uh, whatever the uh, split personality we call uh, uh, both characters whatever the oxides they show metallic oxides those are called as amphoteric oxides so option d zinc oxide option d zinc oxide next uh, these are the two chemistry part questions now we are going to discuss biology part questions those are four questions are there so biology part questions uh, the plant hormone that causes uh, wilting of leaves is it's a abscic acid answer abscic acid because in plants auxin acts as a, a growth hormone growth hormone growth in a apical part of a stem or a, what we call uh, axillary parts or, or it may be um, intercalary parts whatever the growth occurs that occurs because of auxin that occurs because of auxin cytokinin cell division cytokinin cell uh, cell division gibberellin uh, diameter of the plant stem diameter of the plant stem uh, grows so auxin gibberellin cytokinin these are uh, other uh, uh, functioning ha what hormones in pandre abscic acid it stops the growth of a plant that's why the shoe, uh, leaves goes to said uh, wilting of a leaves occurs that's why abscic acid is a right answer cytokinin auxin and gibberellin they play uh, other functions for example auxin it helps to plant growth in a apical part apical meristem wherever is there in that part okay then uh, intercalary meristem wherever is there in that part okay I, what auxin plays a important role of a growth then gibberellin gibberellin a diameter of a stem increased because of gibberellin and then cytokinin it takes part in cell division in plants it take part as a cell division abscic acid what uh, it causes uh, or it, it inhibits the growth of a plants that's why option c is a right answer next question the correct sequence of a reproductive stages occur in a flowering plant is first of all male and female gametes are formed in plants uh, we already studied a hibiscus uh, flower in that hibiscus flower whatever the stamens are there those are male gametes and whatever the ovary is there that's a female gamete that's why a production of a gametes occur first stage then whenever the gametes whenever the gametes uh, what we call uh, at the time of a reproduction they forms a, whenever the male gamete and female gamete fuse to form a zygote zygote to embryo embryo to seed okay first of all without gamete uh, without uh, what uh, gametes zygote is not formed that's why b is a wrong then uh, without uh, gametes and zygote uh, and embryo seed is not formed that's why it's also wrong first of all formation of a gamete occurs but after that zygote forms zygote forms then embryo then the seed that's why option d is also wrong so that's why option e is a right a is a right answer 25th option a is a right answer next 26th question the site of a complete digestion of carbohydrate proteins and fats uh, what uh, the uh, digestion starts in stomach itself only carbohydrate proteins and fats but uh, they completes in a small intestine 
because the small uh, finger like structures will are present in small intestine uh, they absorb uh, uh, simple forms of carbohydrates also simple forms of proteins also simple forms of uh, fats also that's why option d is the right answer the stomach okay uh, digestion starts some uh, what enzymes are released but uh, complete digestion not occurs in stomach large intestine absorption of uh, some minerals water and uh, what uh, whatever we call a uh, waiting period of uh, waste material occurs in a large intestine okay uh, liver also releases some enzymes so uh, it's not complete uh, uh, it, it not takes a complete part in uh, carbohydrates proteins fat digestion that's why liver is not our answer large intestine is not our answer small uh, sorry stomach is also not answer our answer is small intestine then the under fertilized egg of a human female contains okay we already studied at the time of whenever we discussed the chapter uh, male gametes are what male chromosomes are xy fe oh, sorry very sorry male chromosomes are xy female chromosomes are xx whenever the male fuses x chromosome with females x then the whatever the baby it's a female baby then a uh, females x and males y xy chromosome fuses means what it forms it forms a male baby it forms a male baby but here unfertilized egg is there unfertilized egg is there unfertilized egg uh, y comes from male that's why this is not answer xx chromosome came uh, what fused means it's a female baby i said now only how the sex determination occurs okay and xy is there means male baby that's why it's unfertilized egg that's why option a is also wrong option c is also wrong option d is also wrong unfertilized egg of human female contains a xx chromosomes in that x only is there option b right answer option b right answer okay uh, i am trying to um, what uh, uh, describe you uh, at my level i am not uh, that much fluent in english because uh, i taught for english medium students several years back now i'm teaching in kannada medium that's why uh, my bit i tried to explain you uh, maybe they are helpful thank you thank you so much